Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing another unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Meatloaf Bat Out of Hell CD. Uh, this is part of the Essential Rock Classics. I think this album is pretty cool. I especially like the first song, which is the, you know, the exact same name as the album itself. Uh, it was made by Meatloaf, who I first, I, I never knew about Meatloaf until I saw the Rocky Horror Picture Show movie and he was in it. And I was like, oh. And yes, here is the back and it's actually got a blurb on it. Nearly 25 years after it was unleashed in late 1997, Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell screams with all the fury and intensity that accompanied its 19-month stand on the Billboard LP chart and resulted in more than 13 million copies sold in the U.S. alone, twice that worldwide. A song cycle built on Wagnerian power chords and town Shindian teen angst, this magnum opus almost went unrecorded as a postmodern off-Broadway rock opera entitled Neverland based on Peter Pan. But as composer Jim Steinman, his National Lampoon Roadshow pal Meatloaf, and producer Todd Rundgren stood their ground, an epic's Cleveland International record saved the night. Three colossal hit singles are still staples of AM and FM radio. Two out of three ain't bad, Paradise by the Dashboard, Light with Hot Date Ellen Foley, and Yankee, Bas and Yankee baseball great Phil Scooter Rizzuto's play-by-play, -play, and you took the words right out of my mouth in England, where they know a thing or two about rock opera. Bat Out of Hell spent 471 weeks on the national chart. Need we say more? Yes, and here is the track list. Bat Out of Hell, You Took the Words Right Out of My Mouth, Hot Summer Night, Heaven Can Wait, All Revved Up With No Place To Go, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, for crying out loud, and has bonus tracks, which are Bolero Live Intro and Bat Out of Hell Live, uh, apparently previously unreleased. This specific release was released in 2001, I believe, yeah, I think it says right there. And yeah, pretty cool, let's open it up. I made a slit here, there it is. I always loved how the cover of this um, album looked. It was just so cool. I was like, damn. Like, I, I wanted it just for the cover alone, but then I heard the first track and I was like, damn, this is actually crazy. And there's the disc. You go, oop. Press something on my computer, I don't want that. There's the disc. There's what it looks like inside without the disc. And you know me, I have to pull out the cover and show you guys what it has. There is the cover art. Very, very cool. And I assume, yes, it's just a lyric book. But, you know, that's always cool to have. Lyrics. And yeah, it's awesome. I recommend you guys, if you don't want to listen to the whole album, I at least recommend that you guys listen to Bat Out of Hell, the first song. One of the best intros to any album and any song ever in general. And yes, that is my unboxing of Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.